Planetary Camera next. Hello, my name is Doug Hovell and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today's topic is planetary cameras. Now, you can buy these planetary cameras inexpensive. They're about $100, $150, or if you want, you can make one yourself. Webcam, which is a Logitech C310. I picked this camera up for about, well, it was 15 bucks on Craigslist, and I'm going to modify it so that we can use it as a planetary imaging camera. Now the, the, the plan that I have here is to take an old film canister and then put it on the end of it so then what I can do is on a uh, telescope eyepiece slide the film canister right into open it up and remove the lens that's inside of there. Uh, I notice that right here on the underside there's this little notch that uh, you can just simply take a screwdriver, put that in there, and pop that bezel off. So I'm going to pop this bezel off first. I noticed that on the front side here, there's these little Phillips screws that are holding this front cover on. So I'm going to take off the front cover so I can get down underneath there. And The lens for the uh, the camera right there. Two little tiny Phillips screws that are holding the circuit board in. So I'm going to take those off next. Or remove with the two screws. Sure enough, there's two other screws right where I thought there would be, uh, right here. One, two, and I think those are the screws that are going to hold the lens on. So we'll want to remove those. Okay. Look at that. The lens came right off and there's the chip that we want. The one thing we would want to do is we don't want to get any kind of uh, debris on the, right where the hinge is at. There's like this these little rubber covers and I just kind of scratched them off and I found a Phillips screwdriver on one of the ends here. So I'm going to try to remove this uh, piece right here. I don't really need this uh, on the telescope. After you remove that screw on the one side you can just push the pin all the way through and then pull it out the other side and once you've done that then you can pull that off and you have the bracket separated from the camera 24 and a half it's about three quarters of an inch uh, diameter now if I were to take this canister and just try to set it down on a piece of wood I might get pretty lucky and it might drill through uh, okay uh, since I have a Dremel tool, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll first, there's like a, a, an inner lip right here on the, the canister, so I'm going to first uh, go to that inner lip, and that inner lip is uh, measuring out at about, oh, 21 millimeters there, so it's not quite the, the, the exact diameter, but this little piece right here, it has like a raised bevel to it. So I'm hoping that with that just removed by that center, using that as my guideline, try to get that as, 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 as uh, evenly round as possible, then I can put that down on top of there like that. Drill a quarter inch hole right down the center of it. So uh, we'll give that a try right now. Starter hole right there, a quarter inch. Uh, I had to first use a three eighths and then a quarter inch on there to get, get that started. And now what I'll do is I'll take the Dremel and just try to kind of uh, round it out and just, just get it right on the edge of that lip right there so I can uh, have a guide of making a round pattern. Put this down, I want to put it down over the top of that little uh, bezel right there. This little a light indicator is kind of like in the way so I'm just gonna pop that out it's just on there I'm not even gonna use the light anyway uh, I saw there was an option in the software to disable the LED so it'll be a non-factor 
and now I, I won't interfere with a, a nice good clean surface okay so that's the hole that matches up uh, with this bezel now the thing that I was thinking I was going to do was just take this apart and glue this separately away from the uh, the lens or, this, uh, or the, the chip there but what I come to find out is that two of my screws are right below this when it comes down so uh, I'm gonna have to end up putting this on the camera and then gluing it on uh, the the one thing with this is that I I have a feeling that once it's 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 set with the glue that it will set those screws as well so I I, I can't I can't do that uh, unless I put it together with the, the the assembly but it was good practice to make the lens or, or to make this cover and this adapter away from the circuit board because when I was grinding this with the uh, the Dremel there's dust everywhere I mean, there's this black dust that's all around it uh, so what I'm gonna have to do now is clean this up very well and make sure all the dust particles are are cleaned out maybe I'll take a little bit of a file and and put that on there uh, but that's what it's gonna look like uh, when it gets ready to go to the uh, adapter this one end right here has got a lip on it and so it won't fit inside there with that lip so I'll have to cut that lip off so I can use that I I really wanted to use this end here because it has more of a gluing surface that I'll be able to put this onto right there taking the tape and just kind of running it over with my my fingernail and what I'll do is then pull that off and then I can take a pair of scissors and cut a perfect cover for this uh, uh, top here before we put it together a little cover that I put over the top there so I'll protect the uh, chip now we'll put it all back together here and then the adapter goes on like that and yeah hi guess what I can actually use the other end as a lens cap to uh, cover it up when I'm done using it so that's 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 a good good thing just got a piece of uh, styrofoam here and I'm just gonna press this down into the styrofoam and let it get flush the plan is is while that's sitting flush then this can then sit flush on the styrofoam and then it won't uh, bounce around while it's uh, uh, gluing. Glue the camera adapter on the lens so I'm just going to put a little bit of water on the uh, top of it right here. Uh, next I'm going to take some Gorilla Glue and put it along the edge of the camera here and set that on there really good. Let it go back and forth a bit I might actually hold it here just for uh, a little bit to help get it set and then after it's set then I'll probably just uh, tape it down here so it stays this way overnight these forks hold that down right there um, I've also got some tape here to maybe hold it down a little better well, that actually worked pretty good just putting a little bit of that tape on there put another piece right here along the top I put a can of coke on top of there just to keep a little bit more pressure on it while it dries yeah it, uh, actually turned out pretty good the uh, setting of the glue worked very well I thought it's nice and even uh, around the edges here too so uh, that's what I was hoping for got a little bit of stray glue here and there but uh, I think that'll 
be taken care of pretty easily with uh, a, a black marker. I'll just put some black marker on there and it'll blend really well with it. get that piece of tape off on the lens there to uh, we put on there protect it from the glue I'm just gonna take a pair of tweezers and just get the piece of tape off there there it is I, res I took the uh, piece of tape out now if you use anything else besides uh, uh, a painters tape it might be too sticky so I would recommend using this uh, painters tape because it doesn't have a real high adhesive content and it doesn't stick very hard to the surface but it does adhere very well so just keep that in mind if you are using any kind of tape to protect it down there uh, just use uh, the painters tape. This is our planetary web camera um, next step is to take it out and give it a try if this is your first time watching I would like you to subscribe I publish two astrophotography videos on the first and fifteenth of every month Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.